morning. Norman Silberdick. I'm chairman of the trustees of the trust funds. First of all, the correct. Norman, we can't hear you. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Norman Silberdick, chairman of the trustees of the trust fund. I'd like to uh, correct a comment that was made by Mr. Moody. The $1,500 only represents the administration of the capital reserve funds for the uh, town of Hampton. The SAU uh, 9021, the Village Be Beach District, are all being handled separately in their own budgets. I had previously gone to the uh, selectmen and I had previously gone to the budget committee asking that this $1,500 be added to the budget. And at the time that I went there, the budgets had already been approved and signed, and it was not possible to do that until the deliberative session. And fundamentally, if Article 32 passes, then uh, this will not, uh, this expenditure will be covered from the income of the capital reserve funds. House Bill 297, which was passed in July, allows that investment advisory fees can be deducted from the income from the capital reserve funds for, that are being managed by the investment advisor. And in, or if they're not, if the bill doesn't pass, then one has to go to the, to the town and other groups affected by this to seek that this, these expenditure, this portion of this expenditure be included in the operating budget. So the net result overall is a $300 increase as Mary Louise has uh, pointed out. It's a, it's a really minor amount uh, we're obligated to pay this because we have a signed contract with the investment advisor. We're just trying to comply with the current law as it's been passed in the House, and nothing more, nothing less. Thank you, Mr. <coughs>